Okay, this is Willie. I, the mechanic looked at my boat last night. He had the computer hooked up to it. He ran it for an hour and a half. Everything looks good. Last year I put in a, uh, there's a problem with the valves. He had the power head off. He checked the midsection. Um, and he said there was no problem with it because this year some of the motors had problems with the midsection with the exhaust. It is a Yamaha LF225 TURB. If you want to look that up, go ahead. Uh, the motor ran really nice last night. I lost my boat slip, which was a mistake. It's got a stainless prop I had put on there. Uh, they ran it with this ethanol fuel. And I'm just making a video because everybody's asking me for pictures. So I'll just put a link to it on the... Uh, on YouTube or something. Uh, let me go up front here. Here's the anchor hatch. Anchor. And chainer in there. Uh, this is storage here. It's got life vests in it. I just power washed it. I didn't really scrub it or clean it. Uh, it's got two batteries. 27 series, which is nice. I highly recommend anybody who has a boat does that. I also have a snake in there in case you want to snake any more electronics and stuff in there. Try not to put too much stuff on it. Uh, needs a good scrubbing. I put that bimini top up there just to put in the back to keep me out of the sun in the summer. You could put another one on here if you want. Now lights work, running lights work. It's, it's a 224 Mako center console. There's a fire extinguisher. Let's see. There's some dock lines. Uh, what else? There's dock lines on the other side. Uh, this is, this is uh, it's actually not a live well because there's no aerator in there, but you can get one. And I just emptied it out. And the way you empty it is you open that valve right there. It's self bailing. That's what those are about, which anybody who knows boats, which I do, is nice. Yamaha fuel filter. Uh, this is for the oil. This boat used to have a two-stroke on it. It no longer does. If you like the fish, I mean, it's got it's got four pole holes up there. Those lights do work. These lights, they move. Uh, this thing is, I had a problem with this. It's got a radio. It does have a radar. I've never used it. I did put that Kenwood in there. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Uh, I stuck that radio in there. It does work. Uh, this thing was actually pretty good by this Raymarine Fish Dragonfly. It's Wi-Fi Fish Finder. It works really, really well. Uh, the cable for the throttle is a little bit stretched. It works, but you got to it's not as I would change it if I were you. Sea Star Helm in good shape. I believe I changed that four years ago. Uh, what else about this thing? And this is the boat. Uh, so people wanted pictures of the interior. You can see I'm no upholstery guy. I think uh, that's got to be reupholstered. Might as well do this one while you're at it. This seat is starting to check. Or put a towel on it. That's kind of what I did. Uh, let's see. Here's the battery charger. I'll just put it on one for now. And let's see. Turn the key. It starts just like a boat's supposed to. Uh, pumps water. I when I bought this boat, it had a two-stroke on it. I think it was a 90, 96 two-stroke, and I, it was just loud and obnoxious, so uh, I think in 2015, I put that, this four-stroke on there, the, the mechanics have been taking care of it ever since. I brought it to this boatyard yesterday so the mechanic can go over it. Uh, Paul Holder's there. And 
I didn't clean in there good enough, apparently. Oh, pole holders there. Same thing on the other side. You're gonna have to do some minor stuff to this boat, but not much. Uh, it's a good running boat, if anybody knows anything about uh, Makos. Uh, 600 RPMs. Batteries charging 14 volts. This hour meter is incorrect. There's probably about 750, 800 hours on that motor. Uh, I bought it, I think it had 450 on it, so I haven't used it that much, but I try and go out during the week when not everybody's out. And that's it. And I'm just gonna, you see how I put it forward and it didn't throttle up all the way? But if you go a little bit further, it does. The motor runs pretty thin. It's right up there. And you see how the throttle's a little bit touchy. You're gonna have to get a new cable. Back to neutral. Give it a second. And that's it. All right, so there's the video of the motor. Everybody wants me to take them out for a test run. I got a lot of calls on this boat and I'm not going out 15 times, so. Because that's how many emails I got. So this is the boat. I'm gonna jump down to the other side just so you gotta forgive me for my video skills and not. I put that decal on there. Okay, and the boat comes with a trailer as well. It's a magic tilt, dual axle trailer. It's got those it's got those bent axles, which honestly makes it a little nicer because the it sits a little lower, so it's easier to launch at low water. Uh, that's the boat. And I'm just gonna put a link to the video, and you can see I didn't put it in the water last year. Uh because of COVID. So that's why I wanted the mechanic to go over it. And there's the trailer, and there's the boat. Uh, it's $16,500, somebody needs to come with cash. And there's a couple more pole holders up there. That T-top is really nice. These boats are much, much nicer with T-tops on them. Uh, but if you look at the hull design, it takes the chop really well. It cuts through really well. I mean, just look at the shape of it. See how it's higher in the front, lower in the back? It just is a really fun boat, and I hate to sell it, but Daddy needs the cash, so. Uh, I did keep it in the water at the Nesquag River State Park in Kings Park, and uh, that's why it was bottom painted. Everybody's telling me I should bottom paint before I take these pictures and videos, but some people don't keep their boats in the water. This one I would, it's basically you know, it's a 224, which is called a 22 and a half foot boat, but it's it's a little longer. Uh, and that's it. Thank you.